Hello all, in this tutorial I will go over some of the basic record locking options in Microsoft Access. To access these options, you first have to click on the File tab, which is located on the far left of the toolbar at the top of your screen. After doing so, you will see that a new window appears with a vertical red ribbon on the far left of your screen. From here, we will select Options. This opens up the Access Options window. From here, we can execute many important functions, but today we will stick to record locking options. In order to do so, we must select Client Settings. Now, all of our client settings are available to us. Now, let's scroll down a bit until we find the Advanced Client Settings. Here, you can see all of the default record locking options. At this point, there are three options we can choose from. No locks, all records, and edit records. Now, here's a quick breakdown of what these options offer. The first is no lock. When you edit a record, Access will not lock the record. Thus, other users could also edit the same record at the same time. When you've finished your changes and attempt to save the record, Access will give you the option of overriding the other user's changes, copying your changes to the clipboard, or canceling your changes altogether. The second one is all records. All records will be locked as long as you have the database open. No other user can edit or lock the records during this time. The third option, edit records. When you edit a record, Access will lock the record so that when other users attempt to edit the same record, they will not be able to do so. Instead, they will see the locked record indicator. Now that we've reviewed the available record locking options, it is time to select one of these options and apply it to our database. Here, I will select Edited Records. Now to execute these changes, you must select OK. And that is it. You have now successfully changed the record locking options in your Microsoft Access database. So here's a quick review of what we've covered. One, how to navigate the advanced database options in Microsoft Access. Two, understanding the various record locking options. And three, how to select various record locking levels for Microsoft Access databases. Hopefully now you can understand what these various options do and how they impact database accessibility and editing in a multi-user environment. Goodbye now.